Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. I just realized, why did the fuck did I save it? Try messing with the settings again, and I just can't get it to look good. It's trouble with it is, I can't actually see the video when I'm actually moving with the settings, so I just have to like try to work out how to get it. Like, see that wall over there in the corner? Like, it's dark on the capture card, but. On my TV, I can actually see the wall. It is dark-ish, but not as dark. It's just like, yeah. And I saved the game, which I find a bit foolish, to be honest. Because I want to just do free recordings, no more than that, for now. Special kind of keys required. It's like, because I recorded free parts for the other two LPs of the past two days. So why not? Anything in the file cabinets? Um, oh wait, 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 there's something. Operation report to Operation report to September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies over and the armory. And an old battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons, guns, and hope for our survival. Continue. Wait, wait, wait. Hope and hope for our survival. What? And hope for our survival continues to diminish. Oh, wait. And hope for our survival. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I just thought it sounded a bit odd at first. It won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the prison underground to the sewer's disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewer. You want to draw back in that there is no guarantee the sewer's disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. Though they buy more time, we locked the only door loading, leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder Elliot Edwards. <laughs> We're in the dark room now. Like the proper dark room. I can well film here. Too bad I don't have any. Alright, I gotta go back out with the bloody zombies. Zombies everywhere. Oh, forgot you have to press X to get upstairs. It's not like Resident Evil 1 H2 Master where you just run up the stairs. You gotta freaking press X. So, no gunfighting on the stairs. At least the zombies can't seem to climb the stairs. That's one positive thing. Ominous hallway. What's that over there? A gem. Something is written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. So we need like a sun and moon thing or some shit. Seriously, what kind of police department is this? Like, it's, it's like whoever's in charge of this place must be a fan of riddles. Up turns, but it all won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Well, I guess there's only one way to go then. Then the door's locked. There won't be any zombies on the other side of this door. There are. 
I can never tell if it's ammunition on the floor or a bloody brick. Whoa, back her up, sir. Back her up. I said back off! Oh. Run! <laughs> well, that went better than I expected. Then I get mauled by whatever is on beyond this door, which is nothing. So that's good. Anything to examine? Can I make a call? Nothing suspicious. No, I have the ordinary. Stars, special forces. It's fresh. No one must have searched the desk. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. I didn't really feel like much of a marksman when I played as him, that's for damn sure. A picture of the stars, members. Okay, that's, that's, that's nice. Okay, okay, let's see if we can recognize him from the first one. I recognize Barry, like, like, near the top. Uh, I think I see, uh, uh, what was the name, what was the name, what was the name? I think Wesker's standing next to him there. The one below Wesker is Jill. The one next to Wesker, I think, was that one guy that we tried to save, but he died. And I think the guy next to that guy is Kenneth. The guy next to that guy is the guy who got his face gorged out by crows. The guy below Kenneth is Enrico, I think. And... Um... Maybe the guy... Next to Enrico might be Chris, but I'm not 100 sure. No, Chris, I think, is all the way on the far right. I think, maybe. Uh, two of these people have got to be the pilots. And... I um, have no idea. <laughs> so, my ammunition... <laughs> Every time I lose bullets, I seem to just get more. Which is good, but that'll probably not always be the case. There isn't anything useful on the shelf. It's trash. It's shit. It's, it's bollocks. It's fucked. It's hard to control because tank-like controls. There isn't anything, nothing, nothing useful at all. Here's to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. Chris's diary. What the fuck's he doing here? August safe, I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that umbrella conducted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. This is clearly after the events of the first one. But I've heard of the events of the third game as well. It just makes me wonder. It's like, is this, does this take place around the time of the third one? Or is this after it? It's a bit of a confusing thing, you know. Because I don't really know a lot about the series. Because I haven't played them all. Anyways, anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since the Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We have been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, so Barry's alive, and eh? I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on a new G-virus, a variation of the original T-virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? What about Rebecca? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip, because doing so would put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the third one takes place in Europe. I don't know. I haven't played it. Oh. 
The unicorn medal. That was that was relevant to the hall, wasn't it? The main hall. Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. He's gone to Europe. He's on a tour. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Why should we split up, though? Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I want to look at that guitar. What, what brand of Les Paul guitar is that? God damn it, Leon, you have no musical taste. I mean, honestly, in comparison, I prefer Stratocaster to uh, Les Paul. I've got two Les Paul guitars, but they're not like, you know, expensive ones. One's like a knockoff Gibson one, which is like, uh, I don't know. It's def it says it's like Gibson on it or something, but it's clearly not a Gibson guitar, like a legit one. And the other one's an Epiphone one. And they're both right-handed! It was back in the day when when I kept just getting, like, guitar after guitar after guitar. Rather than just being like focused on, you know, learning how to play guitar. Like nowadays, I got like, uh, even as a Geo, left handed, because I play guitar left handed, because there's some finger on my left hand, and also my index finger on my left hand is permanently bent forward a bit. So it's kind of impossible to play right handed. It's so, like if I did, I'd probably have to have my own unique style, really. So I play left-handed, and even then I think I have my own style with that, and yeah. But I've got two Let's Ball guitars, and uh, I've just like, I've got so many guitars and I only use one. Two if you count my electroacoustic, which I haven't used in ages. Is that Jill's barrette or whatever it's called? It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Does Jill have a boyfriend? I want that guitar, though. The desk is disorganized and untidy. Probably reflects the owner's personality. So, Chris is an unorganized guy. I assume this must be Jill's one, because that looks like a barrette or whatever the fuck it's called. I can't believe what is happening to this city. I can't believe what is happening to this city. You wanna run that by me again? I can't believe what is happening to this city. How can I? Honestly, because, you know, we haven't seen it before this outbreak. And considering all the graffiti, it looked like it's always been a bit of a shithole. The various devices, this must be where they gather information. I mean, it's called Raccoon City, man. Raccoon City. You know? What do raccoons go through? They go for the trash a lot. And you know, maybe it's a shit city overall. It's supposed to be where they get all the information. Let's have a look for more stuff. Several files from past cases, nothing useful here. What the fuck is on that desk? So you got instant noodles or something? Coffee? I like this and have nothing left to take because there are no open cardboard boxes. It looks like a rookie's desk. A rookie's desk. Maybe this is Rebecca's desk. But at the same time, I don't know. Where is she anyway? Did she go to... You know, I, I have no idea. It's like I, I'm going to assume... Based on what little I know about Resident Evil 3, assume that it takes place in Europe and after the events of this, or during the events of this, so I know that at least, like, Chris, Jill, and Barry are there, but I don't know about the rest. But I'm pretty sure Rebecca got out of there as well, so as far as from past cases, nothing useful yet. But you know, in, in, during the events of Resident Evil, 
because she's she's looking at Chris's desk now. It's like uh, Chris didn't seem to know Rebecca, so it'd be kind of weird if her desk isn't that far from where his desk is. I can't believe what is happening to this city. I can't believe how disorganized my brother is. I mean, look at that CD. What even is he listening to? It's 1998. He's probably listening to grunge music. Because it was the late 90s. Nothing else to see here. Gonna make a fax. Wait, no, that's is that a fax machine or a printer? I forget. Were there zombies outside this room? Uh. Yes, there were! Why didn't you kill the zombies? <sighs> You're making my job harder, Claire, god damn it! You could have saved me some hassle, but no! You just let the zombies just freaking be zombies. Handcuff them to the wall, do something. Oh shit, it's locked. Spade is etched. Oh, 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 it's pain. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Ah, 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 I'm in bad shape. Time to use this. This is terrible. It's because I don't know where I'm going. How the fuck was I supposed to know? I mean, I know I should go back to the first room because I've got the unicorn thing. But I forget where the fuck I came from. Can't get that gem. So, running down the hallways, gonna get eaten by zombies. I mean, the game has a map. I should really just check that. Zombies! A lame. They're about as out of date as my capture card. It's way overdone. It's cliche. Too many zombies. Oh! Good job, zombies. You actually scared me there. I was not expecting that. Okay. There's your first point. I don't, I don't react the same way like, you know, a lot of like... Of those, you know, the scream type of let's players that scream at everything you know, like little girls. I don't really do that. It's just like if you see me react in fear, it's usually more of, well, what you hear is like, whoa! Which surprisingly isn't all that often. But that, that got me. Well done, game. You got me. I was not expecting arms just pop out of the freaking boarding. I should just walk. No more running in the hallway. Oh shit! Fuck everything! Keep away from the walls. Keep away from those. That side of the wall, anyway. Fucking zombies. Not safe from them even when they're not actually physically in the hall. They make their presence known. Run away, run away, run, run, run away. We could probably defeat that thing, but I ain't fucking taking chances. Okay, where are we? No smoking. I don't smoke, so it's no problem with me. I am a weird guy, I gotta say. It's just like, I feel so out of place in the world. It's like, everyone either does some drugs to some extent, or at least, you know, smokes part of some shit. Or they drink alcohol, you know, to an extent. Or they smoke. And yet, here, there's me. And I'm like, ah, fuck that shit. The unicorn must be inserted manually. Could have checked that out for more description, probably. What have you given me? Interruption. We have a key. 
Oh wait, there were a few locked doors. Ooh, it's interesting. We finally made progress. To some extent. Now I hope there's a lot of ink ribbons in this game because I'm gonna be saving up in this part properly. Because you know Um I just wanna do free recordings and that's it. <laughs> I see if there's anything I overlooked outside. Because I pretty much just ran for the door. I know there's gonna be zombies out here, so let's be careful. Anything over here? Anything at all? Oh, the stairs. Running down a hallway. Oh. This just leads out here, doesn't it? Never mind, it was absolutely useless. It would have been useful if I'd noticed it the first time. Because I would have just avoided the zombies entirely. We've come to report a missing person's case. The missing person is me because I have lost my mind. I'm looking for my mind. Well, my brain to be exact. It seems to be missing. And I'm somehow still moving. I have some functionality, but uh, it's kind of limited to making strange groans and eating people. Uh, 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 should I be worried? Should I contact the medical? Uh, should I see a doctor? Yes. If you experience anything like that, well, well, you wouldn't fucking think to see a doctor. You freaking wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to function. You'd be fucked. We wait. Wait, that door was one of the doors that was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what it was for. Luckily, you cannot open doors. Oh, I see some film. I think that's film. Is it film? Oh, it's ink ribbons. Same thing. I was just thinking. That that does look like film, though. I mean, you could have some stuff developed, maybe. Oh, wait, no. That wouldn't be film, though, would it? No. Raccoon City Data Flies Me, Stone Umbrella Ink. And how they don't sell any umbrellas. Patrol reports. Patrol report, September 20th, 9.30 p.m. Reporter Sergeant Neil Carlson received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to request him. I recovered the following items, a small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 999 rounds, infrared scope broken, end of report. Copy machine. Files and verification none appear to be useful. But what was the use of the other one? Is it going to be relevant later on? Well, there's a shit scatter around here. This place has got to be important. We need the bloody key to get here. Visual materials. Visual materials. You use them to visualize. Step ladders. You use them to climb. Files in various cases do not appear to be useful. What was that sound? Ammunition... I can't tell with this bloody game if it's just the atmosphere or what. It always just like, you'll occasionally hear a big bang. Power of investigation reports. I see that up there. Is there a way we can move this step ladder? Probably just by walking into it, I imagine. Yep. Go get that, what I assume is the old traditional uh, thing. What are they called again? Yeah, cranks. 
Tend to get cranks a lot. I notice we still have the key you haven't discarded. Is it the same as the other ones or what? I don't know. Because it's taking up inventory space and I don't know if that's gonna become a major problem. It probably will. So we got a crank and I don't know what to do with it. I probably should know because we probably stumbled upon something that needed to be cranked. So we gotta go crank some shit up somewhere, and I don't know where. Please don't hurt me, I am but a humble man. I mean you no harm unless I have a shotgun, in which case I'll blow your face off. But I currently don't, so uh, just leave me alone. Hmm. 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 You know what? Let's actually freaking look at the map for once. Okay, okay. I have no idea of what any of these rooms have for me at all. That was that big room. And that was the stairs. And oh. There's a door at the end there. There's also a door at the end there. And there, and there. There's quite a few doors. Fascinating. Stay away from the walls! Stay away from the walls. Maybe it's this door. Diamond. Run for the door! Wait, no, not the door, the uh, stairs, yes. There's gotta be some other use for this bloody key. Otherwise, we would have had it discarded by now, surely. That's, that's the logic I'm going by. It was the logic of the first one. I assume the logic passes over to this game. Strange. I don't have no sun or moon shit. So... I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know where they are because fucking camera angle sucks. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Stay down. Crush his head! There, now he won't be any more trouble to me. I know, and I, I know what you plan on doing. You plan on groping me. I ain't having it. Now I can just look around in peace, rather than pieces. Is Claire still in here? Um, Claire? Where is she buggered off to? It's like freaking Barry when this is like, you play as Chris. Barry is nowhere to be seen in the entire game after the intro. Well, if you play as Jill, Rebecca's the one you don't see throughout the game. Man, the cleanup crew suddenly got around, didn't they? What's down here? I forget. Oh. Yay! It is. It's exactly like the first one. It tells us when a key is completely useless. So it discards it. 
clears up inventory. All good. Except for the fact that we're now in zombie territory again. Uh, gonna have to ask you to stop doing that, sir. Fuck. Uh, just get a soda can or something. Fuck off, get off me. Uh, fuck, they're everywhere. How did I not take much damage? Uh, fuck you. Fuck all ya! I don't care if I waste a lot of ammunition there. Those guys need the fuck off so I can fucking think. I knew it! I knew you were gonna grab my legs! It's a dangerous place. Poor guy. He didn't stand a chance. None of this information looks useful. Can we get a coffee? No. This room is useless. Is there really nothing back here? Other than this door, of course. Well, hello, massive room. Anything back here? Come on, you gotta at least examine some of this shit, Chris. I see a red button up there. Switch to slide the shelves left and right. Oh, it's a puzzle. Wait. Ah. Right. Nope. Um. happens. We gotta look around. None of these books appear to be useful. Um. Er. Uh, did it lag? Yeah, it lagged. Probably. I will turn in three, two, one, zero. Just, just in case. Gotta have some information, right? No? Now why you put it here? Look at that shit. It looks like I'll read shit, but no. Leon is illiterate. Many of the books are on profile in investigation. None of these books be to be useful. Company data files from Leon. I'm really I wonder, before I even think to take that, I want to check something. Aha! So it is like that. It's exactly the same. So we can clear up space and have an even better herb. Sue that. Yeah! Mixed herbs. Death. Many books on the shelf are about chemistry. They're useful but useless at the same time. There's a lot of doors around here. I'm just looking for information here. Nothing useful, nothing useful, nothing useful, nothing useful. Oh shit! 
That floor certainly wasn't useful. A bronze plate with a picture on it. Ooh. Okay. This looks relevant. Power hmm. oh, switch. Aha! That's what that's for. Just to turn these bloody things on. Left. Right. And, uh, um, maybe next to us. Have a look at that picture again. Were they completely on the side? No, they did come out a bit. Okay. Well, that looks even closer, though, if you ask me. Strange. Or well, maybe it's got to go a bit further. It's got to be more centered, doesn't it? So go to the right a bit. There we go. That was an easy puzzle. Okay, why do we get? a bishop plug. What the fuck is a bishop plug? No, no, not combined, check. Plug of some sort in the shape of a bishop. Well, that's helpful. Do I stuff up a bishop's ass? There, was a, there were two doors around. Let's, let's just have a look around. Oh god, not again. Yeah, it is auto aim now. That's something. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Coming through. What have we got here? Will you push? I didn't even know what it said. I rushed through it. Emergency ladder. Yeah, push the button. Put that ladder down. We all know zombies can't climb. Let's have a look around the other side. Ah. There's a douche! Took five shots, man! Hi. Run! Ha <laughs> ha Skill. Something, oh, we can't pick anything up, so, because our uh, inventory's full. Oh, and it's a key as well! God damn it! Well, at least it's a typewriter. Secretary's Diary A. April 6th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues in the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off. Perhaps he was already a zombie, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. It's so important that maybe it shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th, I heard that all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th, I wasn't surprised to see the Chief come in today, with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Must be that one in the fireplace. The police chief's a bit of an oddball. I will take those ribbons. 
we will for the first time on screen anyway because the cap card stopped the last time I will save the game on screen call it a day Leon A zero two waiting room that is all the quality sucks but hey free parts recordings just like three days three days of recording and editing and each time was three parts for an October LP and again I don't know what I'll do in October it might have a different uh, approach this year because it's like the 17th of September as I'm recording and only having three parts as recorded and it's just like it's going to be a bit of a clusterfuck anyways though, I'll see you next time viewers, see you next time <laughs>